Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you once again for joining me. Late yesterday afternoon there by Glen Ellen, there was a magnitude 4.0 earthquake and subsequent aftershocks. Did you feel this earthquake? It occurred at about 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This earthquake more than likely occurred because of stress that has built up along the Roger Creek Fault, which I have drawn out the best I could, could place it um, in red, and it also is part of the Hayward Fault. These earthquakes, including the aftershocks, were real shallow, so it was probably felt by hundreds of thousands of people there in the Bay Area. An earthquake alert went out. Did you receive the earthquake alert? 2,854 people sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website, and they gave it an intensity level of 6, which means it was felt by all. Many people were frightened. Some furniture even moved. A few instances of falling plaster and damage would have been slight. Do you have cracks in your walls, or did you possibly have um, broken uh, glass? things like that, maybe in your driveway, you got some um, new fractures. Put your comment down below. Here's a map of the felt reports. It was felt as far south as San Jose, and it looks like as far north as, let's see, Clear Lake, California, up by um, probably the gold mine there, which is about 42 miles or 68 kilometers. It was also felt in Sacramento, Columbia, Sonora, which would be about 126 miles or 203 kilometers. That was intensity level three. We also have um, Sunnyvale to the south, uh, Santa Clara, 136 kilometers. So that would be about 84 miles or 136 kilometers. Yeah, the San Francisco Bay Area also felt it. Yeah. Modesto, Stockton, um, San Jose. Here's some of the felt reports that were sent in to EMSC. We got Pengrove. A few items knocked off the shelves. No jam damage. One firm jolt. I'll rock the two-story apartment. Shake and noise. This one, uh, Rohnert Park. They felt four aftershocks. Uh, shaking, then felt by a rolling. Another one's from Santa Rosa. Sliding glass door, rattling cats. And, yeah, they evidently woke up the cats looking for a problem. Several seconds, of the house creaking. Santa Rosa said they felt the rocking back and forth. Well, let's see here. I want to get um, Eldridge. Uh Definite big, slow rumble, big, oh, not jerky, but not little. I thought my house, oh, my homie was shaking the couch. Okay, I thought my homie was shaking it. Also in Santa Rosa said that their chair was moving and the drapes were swaying. And often with people who are earthquake sensitive, yeah, they get dizzy. Another report from Santa Rosa said, I was wondering why I was getting dizzy. Another one from Santa Rosa, sitting outside playing the guitar. And yes, we felt the earthquake. It sloshed the pool water all around in Santa Rosa, uh, California, north of San Francisco. Holton, a uh, very mild chandelier swinging, uh, maybe um, an inch. No sensation in Coffee Park. Here you can see the moment tensor ball. Yeah, it was a right lateral strike slip. That's where one fault or one side of the fault moves past the other. And yeah, this explains why so far east, yeah, tension was applied going to the east. I'm not surprised with all the earthquakes that have been occurring, especially along the Calaveras Fault, which also runs into the Hayward Fault. Now, there is a 33% chance, supposedly, according to a geologist, of a larger earthquake within the next 30 years of a magnitude 6.7. A larger earthquake could come within even a month after the, 
the uh, sequence of these earthquakes. And more likely, there will be more um, magnitude 3 earthquakes in the near future. USGS is reporting nine earthquakes so far within the last 24 hours, the largest being the magnitude 4.0. And they're all fairly shallow, uh, yeah, under a mile in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. So most recently, there was a 1.7. We also got a 1.8. 2.5, 2.6, 2 2.4, 3.4, 2 2.1, 3.1, and then the initial 4.0. These earthquakes have actually been closer to Waldrui, or Waldru, sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Um, it's actually closer than Glen Allen. Now they say that within the next week, there'll probably be 35% chance of a magnitude 3 or larger, 5% chance of a magnitude 4, um, less than a 1% chance of a magnitude 5. Just another reminder how you need to be prepared for these earthquakes. Yeah, I'll bring it out. Yeah, I believe up over here is where uh, they've been having that other earthquake swarm. That's actually Cobb Mountain, and those are all induced earthquakes. So we'll come back down over here for this recent swarm. The closest, largest earthquake that I actually have on here, not to say that there hasn't been others, but there was a magnitude 6.0. That was in 2014. There was over 90 people that were killed in the 1906 earthquake within this location. And yeah, as you know, the Roger Creek and Hayward Fault, they're one and the same. Yeah, they are capable, as I said, of producing a large earthquake. So if you felt this earthquake, please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless y'all.